Alright guys, so I'm going to do something that I haven't done in forever, and that's uh, cast a StarCraft 2 game. This is going to be a 2v2. Supposedly the uh, background info that I got for this match was that it was two bronze players versus two masters players. Uh, the people that I'll be focusing on most here, which is going to be blue and red, um, are going to be the master level people. Actually, the opponents are going to be the master level people. These are going to be the bronze level people. Um, 2v2, obviously a matchup that it doesn't really matter how good you are, things can always go wrong. However, um, I'm going to go ahead and get things started uh, as we progress here. So Eccentric going to be playing the Blue Protoss, going to be having a Zen Master playing the Red Terran, uh, MCH going to be playing the Purple Protoss, and Splat going to be playing the Teal Terran. So again, 2v2, obviously we're just getting the mining stuff set up. The Watchtower is going to be playing a pretty important role, at least it should, but again, since it is Bronze versus a Master League team, I don't know. We'll see what happens, but uh, I was I was asked to commentate this game through Fiverr, so I appreciate their business there. Of course, guys, if you ever want a match commentated, you can always go there for it. Um, just search for Akura, and that will be that. But um, in any case, so we see that Zen Master is going to send out his first SCV, uh, potentially be scouting. Oh, no, he's going to be setting up the wall off, so big ramp here, going to be walling that off. Really the only entrance into the base. You can see that Splat is doing the same right now, so Unlike some of the other 2v2 maps, uh, there really isn't any multiple entrance point. However, you have this big air distance kind of around this area, and if you can sneak it through the back on the right-hand side up here, or on the right-hand side, or top right basically, on this side, you can you have a pretty good chance to get something good. Uh, this spot needs to be covered up really quickly as well as this spot up here. Drops, you know, proxy pylons, etc. Uh, racks going down for both players. Uh, in terms of the Terrans, let's see, Protoss are getting their gateways on, so that's good. So we do have Eccentric going for the scout. He's going to be trying to get this barracks down. Uh, SCV coming here, trying to get that down. We'll see if he gets it there. We got there's two more SCVs coming off for Splat. I'm going to take care of this probe problem. Uh, and he's still going to... Oh, ho, ho, almost got it. And 10 HP for the SCV. Oh, probe, it's not quite done yet, trying to get it. This would stall a little bit, but unfortunately the barracks just now finishes, so not going to be too much of a delay. He'll get a, a repair on that SCV. At least he should. Uh, real quick, and then go. First gas guys are down for splat. Looks like Zen Master it does not have anything yet in terms of gas, but uh, it does look like Eccentric is going for his first gas geyser. So uh, pretty well on pace so far. His cybernetics core going down. Should be seeing two more gateways uh, out of him shortly. Unless he's going to go for a one racks or um, one gateway fast robo, really quick. A little bit off on the the depot placement, um, so you're going to have to put down an extra one to get that block off. You can see that Splat is going for a factory, so he will complete his wall off as well. Looking over here at MCH, looks like pretty staring. He's actually going for a fast Twilight Council, so we might see some fast blink stalkers. Obviously, with that combination of scan, uh, that'll be a big deal. And we see the two more gateways going down for Eccentric, so pretty standard play so far. It looks like it to be a four gate. Uh, double gas guys are going out for Zen right now, but uh, no real structures to be used for, so really don't understand the gas guys are unless they're going to be sharing resources, which would be huge. But having said that, really does need to get that orbital command out, get that 300 bonus minerals per tick. Also, the scans would be very helpful. Uh, secondary gas guys are going down for Sput. He does have his factory out though, so that makes complete sense. And we do have another gateway out for MHC, third gateway going out now for MHC, or MCH, excuse me, as we continue this. Uh, just Marines getting pumped out. There is one Starker out for Eccentric, and we're going for a factory now for Zen Master, so he's going to get that rolling, and we'll see what happens here. But again, no overall command. That's a, kind of a big mistake here. I mean, he's getting the SCVs out, sure, but uh, those scans are very important. Also, the mules are very important as well. Engine break coming out now. That'll help against any type of DTs, which looks like they are going to be on their way. Uh, so that preemptive uh, notion that they might be coming is definitely well informed. So Marines and tanks done being pumped out by Splat. We do have Araxes coming out again for Splat as well. And Depot's on the edge just in case. Proxy Pilot has gone down. Can he see? Yes, he does. He does know about it. So Eccentric going to come over here and take this out. Make sure that there's no shenanigans going on, especially with these DTs on the way. Of course, they don't know about that yet. And we'll see what happens, though. But it uh, looks like Starport, two Starports actually coming out for Zen Master. And 
and no expansions quite yet. MCH can put a proxy pylon out on the edge here, making sure you can get some forces in here uh, in case they need to do a type of flank maneuver, that type of deal. Uh, DTs are on the board now, and unfortunately for MCH, those turrets should be available. Uh, or they are available, but there's none down quite yet, which is kind of interesting. Row of A now coming in. I do have two tech laps, so double Banshee Crank going to be happening here soon. But he has the Engineering Bay. I don't know why he wouldn't have a turret up here. I gave him a little more credit than it may have been due. does have scans out, so that'll help. Uh, but he's going to have to time that perfectly. We do see three DTs still on the board. Eccentric, I think, knows about the DTs. Um, he did try to do a little bit of a push. And there is the turret going out, so yes, he did know about it. And coming in here now, going to be trying to get some damage out before this finishes. There is a scan on the board, though. And MCH going to go for it. We'll see if we can get in the base. Where's the scan? Oh, oh, there it is. A little bit late. The depot does fall. The DT should get cleaned up here. Mr. Turret is out. There we go. All three DTs do go down. A fourth DT can now come in. Fifth one as well. Along with siege tanks. This is going to be putting them in a really weird position. And coming down that ramp. Going to try to get closer. No stim pack on these Marines, so they can't rush down. And stalkers need to spread out a little bit. That splash damage is doing a little bit too much. DTs do get in the base. They do slip by. And this, oh, he does have enough for another scan. Missile turret in the mineral line. That'll help out. The SCB's going to clean up. Going to get them some. One Banshee already out. And Stalker's now coming in. Scan should be coming in here shortly. To help with Eccentric. Banshee coming in. And where's that scan? Observe, there are the observers coming in, though. That'll help. He's not Corona boosting those. I'm actually, oh, no, there it is. There's one boost. It just wore off. But, um... Kind of surprised he isn't trying to rush those out a little bit faster. Uh, expansion going up now for MCH, uh, along with more tanks coming up for Splat. So going to try to basically keep Zen and Eccentric pinned in their base while they farm up, expand, etc. Um, and basically Zen and them are going to have to try to force out with these Banshees and uh, anything else they can try to muster, uh, Phoenixes or anything like that, or in, in, you know counter uh, counter warpins basically. But it does look like Splat is going for his expansion as well. And this is starting to not look too good. We do have Eccentric going for his. He's probably going to have to cancel that, though, with these Marines tanks coming in. And I'm not too sure about this. Really might want to hold off on this. Ooh, Pylon not going to be able to cancel in time. This is going to go down. And Probe going to be lost as well. Nope, not quite. And Marine's going to be backing off wisely. Immortal is out, though. That will help against this tank. Marines that need to be taken out first, though. Oh, no. Ooh, he's going for the wrong one. And he's not. There we go. There's the reinforcements coming in. Going to try to handle those Marines. Unfortunately, Immortal might go down here. Oh, he does get both of them. Very nice. The unfortunate part was that Splat was actually still targeting the next the second tank, so he wasn't getting that double damage. So that shield was not removed fast enough. So the Immortal was able to take out both tanks. That's actually a huge play for Eccentric. And now Zim Master and him are going to be pushing forward. Uh, Stalker's now going out for MCH. But the placement of them is not great right now. You can see the bottleneck that's going to happen if Zen Master gets his tanks set up. Where are they? Um, he's still queuing Banshees up. Okay, so he decided not to go for the tanks. He did have one, but he decided not to send it out. He's keeping that at home. Uh, so this force is actually going to pick off several SCVs. So good pick off economic wise. So good stuff there. And this, oh wow, this Nexus may fall. If these targets, but you can see the choke point, they're only going to be able to get out one by one. Oh, and he's going to try to get that. Immortal's going to be able to do a lot of damage, though. He doesn't have any upgrades on it, but neither does MCH's stalkers. So a couple stalkers do go down, and they're going to try to go for the next. Nope, that is going to fail. But Deserver's going to be playing an important role long term, looking at that economy right now. Pretty even, actually, in terms of worker count. Really, Zen and Eccentric are not that far behind. And uh, when you compare Masters League with with Bronze, this should be the work count should be almost double. Oh, but here it comes, the squadron of Banshees. And we'll see what's going to go down here. But uh, this Nexus may be forfeit. Not a lot of probes on the main line. He's actually stopped queuing them up. Uh, he's actually got every one of his probes at this expansion. That's a very risky maneuver. Uh, it'll help out in this instance just because of the Banshees showing up here. There isn't really much to lose. Uh, economically, but if they went to that expansion instead, uh, the losses would have just been astronomical. This Nexus will fall. That's going to cut out 10 to supply, which will actually leave him supply blocked, and uh, that's going to give him a, a hard time to recover. That's oof. 
This is going to be hard. He does have Cloak, though, so Cloak should happen. There we go. No observer. Oh, there's the scan. And he will take the Nexus and try to run with it. Stalker's not going to be quite able. Oh, they do pick off two Banshees. going to try to get the third, and the scan will end. And not quite enough energy for another one. I'm going to decloak here. going to pick up a couple more SCV kills. But uh, right now, five kills on this Banshee. I believe the other one's got a couple more. Um, ooh, the Blink going to come in, and it's going to lose those, those Banshees as well. So not good. But I uh, did get the Nexus and did get probably three to four SCV kills. So um, really long term, that's that's pretty big. Uh, especially for only a workhorse of four Banshees. Nexus is going to have to go back down. So that's another 400 minerals put down. So that's 800 minerals total uh, in terms of spending uh, that MCH is going to have to invest. And here comes another squadron of Banshees. And it looks like Splat going to be engaging with Eccentric. Three Immortals, four Immortals out on the board. So these tanks are going to be absolutely annihilated. Soccer's coming in. That's not going to help at all. Marauder's going to have to be able to counteract here. That's one Immortal down, two. Third going down. There's three, four, five uh, total kills there. And now Splat and MSC are moving in. Zen Master and Eccentric are going to have to hold down the fort. These Banshees are going to be very vital for a counter push. We'll see if they pull back. Nope, they're going to go for it. Sea Shanks up on the high ground. That's going to be helpful. He's going to have to pick and choose, though. Splat may have to decide whether he wants to use that scan to stop those Banshees or to keep this push going. He is going to keep the push going. Instead, Banshee's coming in here now uh, to try to back up this forward wall. If this wall goes down, this is going to be game over for Eccentric and Zen Master, and it will hold barely. Oh my goodness, and these Banshees are now going to town. Where are Splat's reinforcements here? He's actually got nothing queued up right now. He's building up minerals. He's got tanks out on the field, but he's not sending them down. Uh, he's got, wow, full energy on <laughs> this command center for either scans or mules, but he's not using it for either. Um, and right now, 550 for minerals. No warp ins right now uh, of any kind. He even try to muster any type of comeback from the MCH. He's going to have to work on a, a, a Severn Escort to even get anti air. And what looked like to be a one sided fight has now it flipped as Zen Master is going to town here with only four Banshees. And Marines finally coming over way late. No stim pack, no combat shields. These Banshees will tear these apart. Medivac will help out. There's the cloak. Gonna have to back off and do the wise thing. And come back in and get this tank. And now we're going to town on this barracks. Another scan going down. He'll just back off. And in the meantime, this is gonna give time for Eccentric to push up and try to get more of a forward front going and leave Zen Master some harassment time, basically. But great setup by these two players. Way to hang in there. Obviously great unit composition. He's got the Stalkers with Zealots uh, and then the Immortals of course waiting in the back uh, with that heavy DPS and this <laughs> the Observers have really played a major role in this game in terms of scouting preference. You've noticed that really um, I haven't talked about MCH or Spot really having any type of scouting presence cause, and that's because they haven't. Uh, this um, Observer just now getting onto the field uh, is obviously a little late. What happened? There we go. One um, Banshee left out of the four, but you can see how much damage has been done just by those. I mean, we can look over to the Lost tab, 7350 right now, and you can see this uh, command center now getting absolutely pummeled. It didn't quite get into the burn uh, ratio, and does look like this section is going to get cleaned up. Only one medevac, though, and that's kind of bad news bears for Splat. Really should have at least two more out on the field to give it a little bit better balance, especially uh, when you're facing Immortals. These Marauders are just not going to be enough, uh, especially since there's no stem, no concussive shell, uh, and no upgrades for that matter. Uh, even though he did take out this section, it, the really heavy losses, he really couldn't, he really didn't even have to lose even a fourth of what he did. Um, is then doing the best in terms of units lost and lost resources, so uh, definitely kudos to him. But uh, it does look like we're going to be seeing a counterattack. Expansion has gone up for Zen. He's not mining from it, though. Uh, and he needs to start soon. He's almost mined out at his main. Uh, and so is Eccentric. So that might spell disaster. Four starports now out, though. Uh, and an armory coming in for upgrades. 2,200 minerals right now. He could be pumping out marines just to get something out uh, to build. Could be transferring those uh, minerals to Eccentric as well. Get a bunch of zealots out. Uh, get charge research. And he'll be able to deal with these tanks and marauders very easily. Uh, so a lot of choice here that just really isn't happening. 
Uh, in the meantime, looks like another counterattack is going to be happening in Bike Centric. He's going to be trying to take out this command center for the second time. Uh, full energy on this. And can he get it into burn range? It looks like he might. It does look like the Zen Master's holding off the uh, other entrance with Banshees. And there it is. There's the burn. It's starting. Drop going to be happening here soon. And not going to be fast enough, though. Oh, Banshee's going to be picking out one at a time. Oh, no. Splink Stalker's coming in now. There's the Cloak. He will be moving back a little bit. Observers are on the way. Command Center does fall. And that's going to be a huge loss for Splat. And we'll see if he's going to load up and try to do a major counter. As that's about the only thing they really have going for him is the oh out of cloak and is he gonna get out? Yeah, he's gonna lose that one. So no orbital here, no real defenses here either. And this is kind of a very exposed forward positioning, so uh, we'll see what happens. But it does look like Eccentric going for another expansion, and he will get his economy rolling. But a lot of immortals, no real upgrades though, uh, for either party. Eccentric has level one armor. But that's about it, and you usually see a couple more upgrades out by now. This engineering bay was really only used um, for uh, turrets, and it really Zen needs to be dropping mules. He could be dropping up to four mules right now, three mules, excuse me, uh, on this middle field. That'd be a huge increase in terms of mining. Uh, but this drop is going to be happening, and I uh, thought about backing away. But uh, it's probably a good idea that he didn't drop that those mules about now, because obviously this is going to get taken out. In the meantime, uh, Eccentric is just going to go ahead and build up mine away. Banshees again, still in this main. MCH is just absolutely getting annihilated here uh, by Banshees. And I'm surprised that no missile turrets were put up on this side. Even two missile turrets would have been a huge help. Um, but Splat really doesn't have the economy right now. These workers need to be going back over. At least some sort of long distance mining would be helping. Uh, even if they were from MCH's main line. But of course with these Banshees here, that's out of the question. So Banshees are essentially winning this game. Eccentric's just pretty much holding their main line. One Stalker desperately getting warped in. That's about all he's going to get before he loses his final gateway. And at least in his main, he's having to rebuild all of those down into his natural. And that is not good. Chrono Boost completely full up. Hasn't been able to use any of that energy. And uh, Zen going to just slowly burn this down. Level 1 weapons upgrade. That's going to help out a lot. Stalker gets completely annihilated. And uh, I can kind of sense a GG probably happening any minute here for Splat and MCH, but a complete overthrow here uh, for what the scores look like in the beginning of the game. I mean, the Splat and MCH just looks so strong with that tank and marine push, with the, especially with the Blink Stalkers, DTs. There we go, Splat left the game, and we're waiting for the other one. There's MCH. So uh, Zen Master and Eccentric will take it uh, pretty definitely. Um, but in any case, guys, that was that match. Only one I'm casting today. Uh, 